Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and this is part 8 of the Advanced Array Animation Tutorial. But, um, I lost the part 8 file because I, uh, I saved over it because I've been uh, making tutorials for a while and I got careless and I accidentally named the next tutorial part 8, so I lost it. But, uh, luckily we didn't uh, do that much, so I can just explain what we did. So, anyway, so, uh, at the time we got finished with the animation so if we press alt z uh, you can see that uh, the cube here is white it doesn't have any shading even though we have a lamp here so to get rid of that all we need to go do is go into the object data and then go to uv texture and press the minus key and then that fixes it so let's go into front view here I'm gonna press control alt 0 on the numpad to get this view here and then press rx so I can kind of resemble what we had before so we're going to want to change this lamp into a sun lamp but actually let's just delete it and then we'll spawn our own so lamp sun lamp bring it up and what matters with the sun lamp is not the position of it but actually its rotation so rotate it in front view like that and then in top view about like that so that we can get all the corners that we need press F12 there we go so I'll just, um, I'm going to save this really quick. And I'm really sorry about this, but um, it's because this version of Blender is very unstable and it caused me to not realize what I was doing because I was getting kind of frustrated. But anyway, so let's take this cube and then we're going to go into the render settings. Let's go all the way down. Go into post, proce uh, post processing. Select edge. And I'm going to select a certain uh, specific number, 0.16. For the red, one, 1 for the green, and 0.43 with the blue. And that gives me this nice color. But uh, yeah, so anyway, um, I think uh, later on I put the, the threshold to 225. And I don't know if I do that later, if I do, did it in the last part, but I'm just going to do it now just to be sure. So, and what that does is it gives every edge. Uh, every edge this actual glowing edge thing so if I save this really quick um, okay and then I press F12 you can see we have this great this um, cool line here so next thing so the next thing I did uh, went to ma the materials tab and then I went ahead and turned this all the way to red and uh, what we what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna take this uh, color. We're going to solid view here, red, and then throughout the whole animation, it's gonna be turning different colors. So now that we have it here, and we need to insert a, a keyframe for this color. So just hover over the color here, the diffuse color, and press I. And if we open it, it turned yellow, and that means that there's a keyframe here. So I went up every 250 frames. Now we're gonna change it from red green hover over it with I and we're gonna go to 300 we're gonna go from green to blue I then we're gonna go, go to 450 and then we're gonna use um, point, point 0.5 red point 0.5 blue get purple I we're gonna go to 600 and uh, we're gonna get rid of the blue, go up to green and uh, turn up the brightness here just make it turn that to I 750 uh, we can go ahead and uh, get rid of this one, turn it to this one so we get a, a bluish texture, uh, color light blue I and then for 900 We'll just turn it back to red as we started out with. Okay, so I. Now, if we go ahead and uh, go to the beginning and we skim through these, you can see that it changes colors throughout the animation. If we go ahead and render it, you can see there it turns that color there. 
So now what else? The next thing I did is I went ahead and we did the same thing for the background. So let's go to the bath background. But luckily I only went up to uh, frame 450, so I only need to do this very shortly. So you want to turn blend sky on, and then you want to turn horizon color. You want to turn that to green. Or this is at least what I I'm doing. You can have whatever colors you want. And then we're going to turn this one to red. And then we're going to do the same things before. We're going to press I here and I here. And if we press them, we can see it inserted keyframes. So let's go to 150. Now let's turn this uh, to blue. I'm not exactly sure if this is what I did, but uh, it's on along the same lines. It's it's just I think different colors. And then you want I, I, and then this one should be red, and this one should be blue. Pretty sure that's what we did. So then we did I, I, and then uh oh, ugh. Ugh, sorry about that. I forgot to keep going up. So. 150. It was uh, green and red, so it was. Uh, anyway, it was. Uh, hold on, sorry. I'm tired, so I'm not doing very well. So it was green. So this one should be green. And this one should be. Actually, no, we start. This one should be green. I'm sorry, very sorry. And this one should be. We started this one green. This one should be blue. Anyway, I, I. Let's go to 300. Really, really, really sorry about how this is going. But you know, stuff like this happens. Okay, so then there's. I, I, and then we go up to 450. And then this is, let's see what we've had so far. So to start with, we had red and green. I mean green and red. Then we had red, and then we had blue and green. And then uh, we had this here. So. That's all I did. That's everything that I did in the last part that I missed, and I'm really sorry about that. So, in the next part, we will continue texturing everything, and I'm very sorry about how this happened. But you can just continue on as normal. The only difference is that is that um the array animation will be playing. So I'm very sorry about this, and uh, I'll try not to let this happen again. So. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Be sure to watch future tutorials. Alright, thank you. Bye.